sea lampreys usually attach to larger fish in the ocean to feed, but recently it seems they've begun to attack swimmers too, who've dared to venture into the lake's deeper waters. Dr. Ellen Marsden has become a specialist in these resilient bloodsuckers, which are commonly confused with eels. But this is by far the most ancient river monster I've ever attempted to catch. Seeing eel and lamprey side by side, the difference starts to become clear. This is a true vertebrate. This is, this is a proto-vertebrate. It's just in the process of becoming a vertebrate. It doesn't have a bony backbone. It has no bones in the body at all. Um, and it's so primitive, it doesn't even have a true jaw. It has no lower mandible. It can't bite, um, whereas an eel has a true jaw and can, can actually bite into something. So it's a fish, but it's the very beginning of the fish lineage. Around 300 million years of evolution separate these two animals. In fact, we have more in common with the eel than the eel does with the lamprey. So the predation is all about this, this structure on the front, is it? Right. And it's rather deceptive because you think, wow, all those teeth. They, they are teeth, but not in the way we think of them. They're not to bite. These are just grippers. Um, it's like having gripper gloves to be able to grab something that's slimy. Um, the thing that does the damage is actually down here in the mouth itself. So it has a tongue, much like the eel has a tongue, and on that tongue are chisel-like teeth. So this tongue is acting like a piston. It's going to come out, and actually it rasps a hole in a fish. And again, it can't bite, so having rasped a hole into the fish, it's then going to use suction to suck body fluids, blood and other material, out of that hole that it's just made. The next image that I saw when I put my goggles in was snake-like. With my last ounce of energy, I heave it in close. And then, only once 